Hey guys and girls, I'm on a train bound for London, which can only mean one thing. It's time for Summer of Sonic 2016. One more run. Alright guys, so I've arrived a little late, but you know, better late than ever. Uh, I'm currently standing in the queue for Yuji Naka, and as you can see... It's quite long, so uh, fingers crossed. and my 3DS Street Pass is maxed out already. Hardly surprising.
games here with the old classic Sonic games on them. Pretty good. Got a Sonic R over there, Sonic 3. Got to a body of BB machine if I can just zoom into that quickly. There we are. There we go, better view. It's all pretty good. We got a Sonic Adventure 2 over there. And finally, Sonic 3 again. It's all good. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, there we go. Oh, I've heard of Joypad Arcade. Brilliant. Right, guys, we're getting quite close to the uh, to the signing. And hopefully, with any luck, I can get this sign. So you're seeing it here now. It's completely bare. When we get down to the front over here, I can actually get... Well, I can't get through this there. Hopefully, we'll get to see uh, Yuchinaka and Takashi Izuka. So, fingers crossed. Pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the queue. We're literally feet away from the ledge. Right there. The fact they've stayed on this long shows you how much they care. See if I get a wave. I don't think they can see me, but that's okay, that's fine. Generations poster. I wonder if I could take one. <laughs> oh, I didn't know this picture down here. Second. Well guys, it happened. They signed my box, so that's pretty cool. We'll show you guys later when we got some better light, but in the meantime, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Got Yuji Naka at the top here, and Takashi Izuka at the bottom here. Sweet. Right guys, we're just about to uh, wait for Crash 40 now. Uh, they did have uh, Sonic Mania on the other side of the room, but unfortunately, I was a little too late to actually have a go myself because I was in the sign queue. But you know what? It's fine. This is a once in a lifetime event, so who knows what is going to happen again. I can play Sonic Mania when it comes out, so that's alright. So in the meantime, we're just going to wait for Crash 40. And that was Summer of Sonic 2006, guys. I have to admit, I had a brilliant time at that event. Even though I was only there for a couple of hours and I essentially only did two things. I got autographs and I attended the uh, the Crush 40 uh, live performance. All in all, I had a really good time. And out of that, you know, I'm actually quite pleased that I got this signed. Because we got a uh, Yuji Naka's autograph up there and Takashi Izuka's autograph right there. So that can sit nicely alongside my Sonic CD. Uh, autographed copy. 
I'm actually quite surprised that I got these autographs because obviously, as you guys already know, um, Yuji Yanaka and uh, Takashi, Is Is Takashi Izuka, I never can pronounce his name properly sometimes, uh, they, well, I don't know if they were going to be there for now or if they were just going to stay until the um, Crush Party performance, which was two hours later. But the fact that they did was really cool. Uh, Takashi Izuka, he looked like he was having an absolute blast and he was really happy to meet everybody. Uh, Yuji Naka, on the other hand, he probably started out the same, but I think as time got on and it was getting quite... Um, it was getting quite warm inside the venue. Uh, he looked like he was getting uh, all hot and bothered because he was wearing a suit and you could see that he was um, he was getting hot because he was starting to sweat and he looked like he was starting to get really like physically uncomfortable. So um, I suppose you got to give him massive props for just sticking it out, you know, because, you know, there was a very long line of people who, who wanted their, their autographs. So, you know, thumbs up to those guys for sticking it out. And, uh, yeah, and I didn't walk away empty-handed from Sonic, um, Summer of Sonic. I was about to say Sonic 06 then. <laughs> you know, also I got, uh, that, um, autograph. And also, much like last Summer of Sonic, I got a swag bag. Oh, yes. And if I remember rightly, I think that was the case as well. It's not just an ordinary, like, plastic bag or anything like that. But, no, it's an actual proper fabric bag. And um, with the, um, uh, logo printed on it there we go get there eventually and you know there was a handful of swag in there um one of the things that i got was in particular as did a handful of other people on here was my kickstarter backers t-shirts which is simply a blue t-shirt with the, the logo on the back and the 25th anniversary logo oh well this is on the back, that's on the front. I was meant to say the front. And we got that on the back, which I thought was really cool. I probably won't wear this too often because I want to make sure that the print stays really nice. But that was really cool to have. Pop that up there. And ordinarily in here, we've got... Oh, and you was also given, uh, when you entered the venue, a really snazzy wristband. A uh, simple silicone affair, but... There we are. We just, uh, there we are. It'll focus well. You can see it's got a Summer of Sonic in the wristband. So, you know, it's not a, um, it probably was cheap. I don't know. But, you know, a little bit of effort has gone into it and they got it nicely, uh, punched in there. So that was pretty cool. Now, I've just got a handful of, uh, tidbits here. Um, let's have a look. See, that's my travel card. Don't need that. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, of course, yeah, there was the uh, the event program. I picked up an additional one because I didn't know there was one inside. <laughs> and, you know, it's pretty much in the in the style of the uh, Japanese Sonic 1 cover. You can see we've got there, got our floor plan. And open it up this side. We've got the uh, fellas responsible for Summer of Sonic plus the... Uh, the schedule which I arrived at five <laughs> so on the Sonics actually I'd look after five so I was in time for Club Sonic and Crush 40 performance I'm hoping you guys can see that there we are that should be all right and do 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 yeah there we are actually yeah and the four o'clock actually no actually I'll tell a lie I arrived at a little after four because I was there for two hours wasn't I yeah Actually, no, hang about. Let's see, uh, no, I, I arrived just before five. So, yeah, something like that anyway. My memory's a little hazy now. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yuji Naka and Takashi Izuka's second signing. So I was quite, quite chuffed about that. And of course, on this one, we got, on this side, we got the uh, special guests. A lot of everyone there. And I think, yeah, that's it for, for that, and you got the back as well. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, do -do 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 -do. I've got this as well. It's a uh, postcard of some description. Well, technically not, it's more of an appetite thing. But it's uh, like, Silver Needs a Miracle, and it's um, uh, issue 270 of Sonic the Comic. 
which those of us in uh, the UK will be very familiar with. And I picked up another one as well, because again, I didn't know this was in here. And it's got not the white border around it. So that's pretty cool. And there was this uh, Sonic the Comic um, poster uh, issue uh, made specifically for uh, Sonic, um, Summer of Sonic 2016. It's got this really, really cool artwork on here of, uh, well, I say classic Robotnik, but I never liked this version anyway. And it's got some um, issues on the back here, which is pretty neat. And you open it up. You got a <laughs> you got an introduction for Megadroid and uh, a few um, panels there. Well, a few characters there. Uh, the data zone. There we are. And you got uh, some panels right here. I think they're like pr uh, preludes to the uh, their specific um, uh, issues. Because you've got Sonic the Comic 271, 272, 273, and 274. And you open it up to its fullest, and you've got yourself a little mini poster of the uh, front cover there. Which, again, is pretty nifty. Because of the horrible weather first thing this morning, and you just... Excuse me. <laughs> That's my alarm clock. And also in here, we've got something called Drop Dead Sonic. I'm um, not 100% sure what that is. But they've got a uh, an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Facebook, so it's all all there. There we go. Um, and that was it. Oh, my second event program as well. And this was a little something I was uh, quite surprised to find as well. It is a Steam code for Sonic Generations. Now I don't actually need this because I've got Sonic Generations already for um for PC, so I didn't need this. So I gave it away to the first person who wanted it on Twitter. Now the funny thing is, on my way to uh, Summer of Sonic, I saw a tweet and it pretty much said, you know, wow, something along the line, it was something along the lines of, wow, I can't believe I found a free uh, Steam code for Sonic Generations. Thanks, uh, I think it was thanks Sega, or thanks Summer of Sonic, or one or the other. And I thought to myself, oh, that sounds pretty cool, maybe I'll find one in mine. I had an initial look inside the swag bag, and I didn't see it in there to start with, and I thought, ah, oh, it must be like limited to like first 200 or something like that. But I didn't let it bother me because, like I said, you know, I've already got it on Steam, so it's fine. And looked in the bag on the train home, and lo and behold, I find that <laughs> with the Steam key on it. So I was like, well, obviously I don't need it, so you know, I'll, I'll give it to someone who doesn't have it. So there's that. And I did buy uh, a couple of items as well uh, because I was um, on in the queue, in the autocraft queue, for the best part of about I think it was 40 minutes, give or take, which wasn't actually that bad for a queue that size. Um, when I eventually, you know, got my stuff signed and managed to get out into the venue, pretty much everything was starting to close up, uh, which obviously meant I didn't get to play Sonic Mania either. But between playing Sonic Mania and getting autographs from possibly uh, two key members of the Sonic um, community, I may never get a chance to do that again. So that's what I went for. And I could play Sonic Mania next year when it comes out, it's fine. But anyway, yeah, they were closing up the uh, merchandising, the merchandise um, table. And I just have a little look along. I was just having a little look just to see what they had left. And I saw a box with like a few bits and pieces in it. And the fella, he initially let um, let this go for a fiver. And then I had a little nosy in more of the box and I pointed out the t-shirt. And I was like, oh, what about that one as well? And he was like, I'll tell you what, mate, I'll let you have both of these for a tenner. And I was like, sold. <laughs> so the first one is a little grey hoodie here with a basketball motif. As you can see, it's got Station Square, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, E10 Cop Speeder. You can probably see that at the bottom there. There we go. And Speed Highway, and then the uh, the Sonic logo right there. I don't understand the basketball um, motif, but you know it's it's fine, and it's my size, which was actually really handy. And the second thing was simply a. 
black t-shirt with Robotnik's uh, cheeky little grin plastered on the front. Which, <coughs> I actually quite like that, that's pretty cool. I don't get much, um, whenever I get uh, like some Sonic merch and what have you, I don't get much Robotnik, so you know, that's quite, uh, that's pretty cool to have. And that was for a combined total of £10. For a t-shirt, you're looking at about 15 and for a hoodie, you're probably looking at about 30, 40 quid, something like that. So that's an incredible saving right there. Um, and I did manage to get some free swag as well. Because uh, this was this was on the same stand where I got these from. I got a special, um, special poster of Sonic Spinball celebrating the 25th anniversary. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, they've used the Game Gear version of the front cover, which means Sonic doesn't look too bad, too bad. But Dr. Robotnik, well, look at him! Just look! <laughs> so yeah, he actually gave me a handful as well. I've got... Um, how many did he give me? Yeah, he gave me six. He gave me six of them. Which, you know, was fine with me, because they were able to reinforce each other in the bag, which means they'd increase. And um, one final thing that I got for free was uh, a handful of posters. I'm going to show you the, uh, the two little ones first, because they had this on a pod. Again, I didn't get a chance to play anything or do anything particular, because by the time I got ready, uh, you know, everything was closing up. I got a couple of posters of Sonic Dash. Tell you, I got three posters of Sonic Dash. So that's something. So they had that there as well. And also, this one's a pretty cool poster which I like. Neat poster of Sonic Generations. Oh yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So all in all, it was quite a successful evening. Wasn't there for too long, which is... Uh, which was unfortunate, but considering what I managed to get out of it, I think it's a result. And I think, I think actually that's about it. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching you guys, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and thanks for watching.
time of the night where we say good night. Thank you very much. But I don't think we have to stop. I mean, who's going to make us? Adam might. Sorry, Adam. Adam, do you mind if we do another one? Take a look at this man.
safe, and we'll see you next time. Trust me. Well,